I've not seen any women crying over passport bros. A modern woman once said she has yet to find any woman crying over passport bros. Well, they have not particularly been crying. They have been so happy and praying for the passport bros. Fuck you. Go away. Go find your women wherever you want if you're not satisfied. I don't know what to tell you. If you want a woman who barely even speaks English and just has to suck your dick, uh, go for it. Nine times out of ten, you are not getting these men in their prime. And the reason why this garbage started in the first place is because these passport bros went around and said, oh, look at this other group of women. They're so much better than you. And that will naturally put anyone on the defense. That about these foreign women talking about, I got your man. Girl, those girls, as soon as they get that visa, they're going to be gone in 24 weeks, if not three months. Because guess what? They're going to realize that those guys were discarded and unwanted for a reason. Look, when you say that you're a passport bro, I'm just keeping it real. When you say that, you are publicly admitting that you don't have the personality, social skills, or the confidence to get a lady in your country. Y'all will buy a plane ticket to go to another country to pay a woman or a femme presenting person to have adult relations with you. And but I tell me it. something, incel black men, you red pill popping podcast watching pathetic excuses for men. Tell me this, if y'all are so desirable, right? If y'all are what every woman wants, why y'all got to go so far and work so hard and spend so much money just to find a woman to lay down with you? It has been a growing trend of Western men traveling to Asian countries in search of traditional women for cooking, cleaning, and taking care of them, often referred as passport bros. However, this trend has received criticism for many women on both different continents who find it After all the hateful and demeaning comments, modern women have made about passport bros and they still claim they don't care if men are leaving them and they don't give an f where men are going to look for women they have now decided to go out of the west to look for men as well i do think it's time to proclaim myself as the president of the passport cis group though for those of you who are single and are looking it's never too late to look outside of the borders and you know what if the guys can have their little passport bros movement then hey it's time for y'all to jump on the major thing I have observed with this passport cis movement is that many of them are just doing it to spite men, not because they wish to marry men outside of the West. I mean, do these women think men who don't want them when they are a few minutes drive away and choose to travel across continents will care about what you try to do in revenge? The fact that men are not talking about passport cis, the way women talk about it proves that men don't give an F. Now the hilarious part of all this is that foreign men don't want passport cis even for a joke. If a woman cannot marry or date a man who makes less than six figures in the West, or who does not drive an exotic car, how does she want to stay with a man who makes just enough to care for himself and his family, and just wants to live a comfortable and peaceful life? No drama, no expensive shopping, just a happy life with his family. Now, in between all this drama, foreign men don't want women in the West. They have heard of the miserable life men in the West have had with these women, and it is far from their standard. Influencers lie to our women. They tell y'all that y'all can travel out like the passport bros could. Yes, you can travel out like the passport bros, but they will find wives. You will not find a husband. You will find getting smashed first because American women, their mouth disqualify them from a lot of things. And foreign men are not going to put up with that foolery. See, what you need to do is get your mindset right now. Get it fixed now so that you can find a brother that's here, that you can learn how to submit properly. Take heed to the message. Passport cis are not having success with foreign men. I mean, it would be dumb of a man to see that a group of men are leaving their home country to find good women with them. And then they just open their arms to accept the women men like themselves are escaping from. Modern women think it's about the men in the West not being able to handle them. They say men in the West are not masculine enough and they can't deal with us. What they don't know is that it's not about the location, it is about the values. The men are leaving and finding success with other women because they are not the problem. They are just the right mixture of perfect for a good relationship and marriage. And that's why foreign women don't mind marrying them.
Now, I do agree with you. There are some men that just go out there and just for pleasure reasons. But there are men who say, you know what? I can't tolerate the American women's mindset, the attitude, the lack of femininity, all of these things that's not traditional. I just would rather not deal with that. I'd rather look elsewhere. Nobody else is rushing to America and be like, yo, I need me an American woman. I'll tell you that. What? There are American women who are taking their pass. They pretty much passport sis. They are dealing with a guy just so he could get his green card taking care of him. So y'all doing the opposite. Y'all, stanky banky. y'all taking care of a nigga. That's the opposite. Y'all ain't getting nothing in return. It's harder in America to meet women, you think? Like, than in your country? Wow. To connect? To connect, honest with you, in my country, you connect very well. Mm -hmm. Here, a lot of stuff going on. Women thinking they are men. Okay. What are Dominican women like in your country? They very, uh, how you say it? How you say that in the, in the English way when you are, you coach is like more female than thinking that you're submissive? Yes. Many Western women are just being laid by foreign men, and then they have their own families with their country women. This is the thing with foreign men. They are brought up the same way their women are brought up with traditional values. And it is tough for these men to think that a woman will not be submissive, that he would come back home from a long day and not find a warm dinner because she can't cook. And more strange is the fact that they can lose their house, lose their life savings to a woman if she decides to divorce them. I heard this from a friend who travels around a lot, and he said one thing he has observed in places like Asia and other countries, where passport bros go to get a woman, is that the women don't just believe that the man is the leader of the family, they believe he is also the leader of their body. For example, a woman will rarely say, I don't want to have sex, Anytime the man wants it without valid reasons, or I don't want to have kids to keep my body in shape. The trend of my body, my rule, that is prevalent in the West, has not seen the light of the day in the countries where passport bros go. It is only in the West that you find women suing their husbands for having sex without their consent, even though I and the brothers have no idea about how that works. But that's the kind of woman in the West. Now these foreign men do have access to the internet. They see what is going on in the West, and they are simply passing on Western women. Let me advise you all, black women who are offended about this, uh, what, passport bro bullshit. Please, why don't you, okay, if you are bothered about it, why don't you pick your passport, okay, and travel? A lot of you African-American women, you don't travel. You just stay in America. The, the farthest you will go is Jamaica. Travel. Go If you want a black man, go right. to Africa. So what do you think about a woman that says that she is an alpha woman and that she pays all her bills and that, you know, I don't need a man for anything? Is that a woman that you would be attracted to or is that a woman you would be unattracted to? That's a masculine woman. Why would I be attracted <laughs> to the same energy? Hmm. A Nigerian man. Hmm. Or I like to play around with American women, but I don't. we're not going to marry them because we don't take them seriously. Right. So what do you think about Is that a true statement? That's a fact. Mm. That's so tell fact. me why and Nigerian men do not take American women seriously. Okay. If you were with a Nigerian woman, we, you've seen us. Yes. We're very hospitable. We're yes. very accommodating. We want. We love people. We cook. We want you to eat our food. Yes. But so. this you don't get from an average African American woman. Okay. Average African American women are. Think, they think about themselves first. That's fair. You okay. see what I'm saying? Yeah. They don't want you to do for other people. Oh. It that's just a tough feels. One. It just feels secured and safe to just be with your tribe. That's understandable. And this is my tribe. Passport bros. I tell my single friends, I'm like, if you want a man, go anywhere outside of here. Okay? We, we can start the passport sisters. Because <laughs> I'm telling you, we are adored in other places. Don't believe this BS that um, they try to sell us in America that we're less desirable. Both of you are students in the Philippines. Uh, I wanted to know, like, do Filipino guys really come up to you guys? Like, do, do Filipino guys try to call you guys? You mean approach? Like, want to date? Yeah, asking you to date okay, you. Okay, for me, uh... honestly, no. No? No. I walk what? her back, I set my alarm, get, you know, showered, take my makeup off, all that stuff, and I was like, Nami in the morning. Like, I was just really excited to go to Nami. So I wake up, I get ready, I text them, ready when you are, ha 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 ha, smiley face, nothing. 
I got no text, no call, nothing. So, you know, he's all apologetic uh, the following week and everything. And the first thing he says to me is like, well, let me make it up to you. You should come over. I'm like, come over why? He's like, oh yeah, just come hang around Suwon. I can show you around Suwon. Hang around my house. I'm like, he thinks I'm stupid. The fact is men are the same everywhere. Wherever you find yourself, you can expect that a man will not settle for a masculine, disrespectful, unsubmissive, and entitled woman, either within his race or foreign, and the list goes on and on. This proves my point that Western men are not weak or looking for impressionable women. They are only seeking peace and respect from their women. The simple truth is that modern women cannot win anywhere if they don't change themselves and become what men are looking for. I believe it is high time that modern women need to realize that they have a problem. Feminism, hoflation, and being entitled do not suit them, and they are just preparing themselves for the wall. That's all for today on the latest juice. If you enjoyed this video, you might also like my previous videos. Remember to drop your thoughts in the comment section, and don't forget to hit that like button, click the subscribe button, and also turn on the notification bell to be the first to know when I drop a new video. Share this video with whomever you would like to watch it. Thanks for watching.